here to encourage you to walk into your new season, a season of freedom and a season of victory. Here it is. By the hand of the Almighty, I've been set free. Healed, delivered, made complete. Now I'm walking in victory. Adrian, won't you help me sing it? By the hand of the Almighty, I've been set free. Healed, delivered, made complete. Now I'm walking in victory. Praise the Lord and welcome to Sunday Morning Worship with Beulah Refuge Tabernacle and First Refuge of Barnesville. Service will begin in three minutes. We invite you to like and share this live stream service at this time. We will now have our call to worship this morning with our opening musical hymnal by Brother Jonathan Hampton, followed by our opening prayer and scripture by our pastor, Bishop David A. Smith.
not a friend like our lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. There is none that can heal all our diseases. No, no one but Jesus. If my mother and my father forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. I bless his wonderful name today for being my Lord and my Savior, my friend, my God, my joy, my peace. For it is in him that I live, move, and have all of my being. I love my wife. I love my children, my grandchildren, my brothers, my sister, my family, my church family. But I traded all for my relationship with Jesus. Because without him, there is nothing else. There is nothing to look forward to. And I do bless the wonderful name of God today. We certainly greet you in the wonderful name, Lord Jesus Christ. And we welcome you to Sunday morning worship. Amen. With the saints of First Red. Refuge of Bonwell and Beulah Refuge Tabernacle here in the great city of Orangeburg. And we do bless the Lord and we do magnify and exalt him and we praise him for his loving kindness. Um, our assistant pastor from Beulah, Elder Kelsey Mack, will be delivering um, the word, the message on this morning. And we look forward to it. The Lord will bless him and give him a word in season. At this time, we're going to get ready to go into prayer and have our opening scripture. Bow your heads with me now in the name, Lord Jesus. Gracious God, our Father, it is in the blessed name of your Son, Jesus Christ, that we come now, Lord, to say thank you for the many blessings that you've bestowed upon us. We are grateful, Lord, for your watchful eye of protection and how you watched over us all last night as we slumbered and slept, Lord, did not know that we were even in the world, but you gave your angels charge over us, and they kept us in all of our ways, and we thank you, Father. You touched us, Lord, and awakened us this morning and started us on this another day's journey. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father, for salvation, for the forgiveness of sin, for your Holy Spirit abiding with us, for water baptism in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, for the mind to do right, those things that are pleasing in your sight. Thank you. Lord, to walk circumspectly before you, Lord God, to do, Lord God, that which is honorable, Lord God, do that which is expected of us as the children of God. Father, we thank you now. Bless now, Father, as only you know how to do. God. Bless our land and country. Bless us, Lord, in our goings and our comings. Bless us, Lord, in the midst of our situations and circumstances, in the midst of this pandemic, this COVID-19, Lord, how it has devastated the world. But Father, we know that all is in your hand. And we trust you, Lord, for our deliverance. Pray, God, that you would watch over the people. Heal the land. Heal the disease, Lord. Father, we know this is no lesson that you're trying to teach us. Lord God, this is the work of the adversary. Oh, God. Oh, Father, but we thank you, Lord, that you know we know that you are a deliverer, and we will trust you in the midst of this, Lord. We will grow even deeper dependent upon you in the midst of this, Lord. Help us, Lord God. Watch over us, shield and protect us, heal and deliver, Lord. Bless our land and country, Lord. The president and all the governmental leaders, we pray for them as your word gave us commandment to do that we might live a life peace. Oh, God, heal our land, Lord God. Lord, we pray for the lost souls of men and women. Lord God, give them a mind to turn from their ways and turn to you that salvation may give, be given to, unto them freely. Lord, bless us now. Keep us in your care. Keep us with our mind steadfast on you, Lord. And we'll ever glorify you. We'll magnify you and exalt your wonderful name. All blessings we ask now in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Let us all say amen. Want to take for uh, a scripture reading from uh, Matthew's gospel chapter 28. And I want to begin reading with verse 18. Now I was meditating on, on this and looking into the scripture 
uh, on this morning, and I don't really have time to go into it, but maybe the Lord will give me a blessing to to uh, share more with you on Matthew 28, beginning with verse 18. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Thank God for those of us that have the proper understanding of what the Lord word meant. I got to go into baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. We know that Jesus is that name. Amen. There are those who are so blind that will not see. But I thank God for the enlightenment of his word and the enlightenment of his spirit to cause us to see his word. God bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We're getting ready to go into the next phase of our service, our praise and worship. I'm going to return after our system passed the Ella message and deliver some, some message and give you some announcements. In the name of the Lord Jesus the name Christ. God bless you. God bless you. Let's be blessed, blessed now. Be blessed as our sister Smith, Lord Smith, lead us freely into worship and worship in our praise and, our praise and, worship. Praise and worship. Sister Smith, God bless sister you. Sister Smith, God bless you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Amen. How many know that God is a mighty God? He's a mighty God. Yes, he is. Lord, you're mighty. Lord, you 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 mighty, Lord, you mighty, Lord, you mighty, Lord, oh Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. You set your glory above the heavens and the earth. When I think of all you made, the sun, the moon, and the stars, no grave is this high enough to express how great you are. What a mind. 
Hallelujah, Jesus. You're a mighty God. You're a mighty God, Lord. You're strong in battle. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Reign in my life, Lord. Oh, Oh, Lord, you're (laughs) mighty God. Oh, Oh, Lord, you're mighty God. You're mighty God in the problem of Jesus. Lord, you're mighty. You're a strong tower, God. You're a mighty God. You're delivering God. Lord, you're mighty. Hallelujah. Worship him in your home right now. He's a mighty God right now. He reigns and he rules right now. Yes, he does. Oh, 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 God, you mighty God. Hallelujah. You're worthy. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us exalt his name together. Our mission is to lead our community and surrounding areas into the presence of the Lord, where they by faith can ask and receive from the Lord the desires of their heart. Welcome to Sunday morning worship with the First Refuge of Barnwell and Bueller Refuge Tabernacle, where we are built on word, prayer, and praise. We thank you for joining us this morning via Facebook Live and the teleconference. We pray that you are blessed today through the message that will be brought forth by our assistant pastor of Bueller, Elder Kelsey Mack. We invite you at this time to like and share this live stream service. Your announcements are as follows. Please join us this Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. via Facebook Live for pastoral Bible study that will be led by our pastor, Bishop David A. Smith. The marriage ministry department would like to thank all couples who participated in this month's date night. I know many couples participated and have enjoyed this opportunity to post pictures But if you have not, I know that you thoroughly enjoyed your date night. And we still invite you to share your pics. At this time, we would like to share with you the opportunity to support this ministry with your tithes and offerings via PayPal. You can visit our website at www.BeulahRefugeTabernacle and click the link online giving, or you may go directly through PayPal. You may also give via cash app. Our handle is dollar sign Beulah R-T. You may also mail your gifts through the U.S. Postal Service to Beulah Refuge Tabernacle, P.O. Box 886, Orangeburg, South Carolina, 29116. The Youth Ministry Department and Sunday School Department would like to thank all families who participated in our first virtual vacation Bible school. It was truly amazing and all who attended were truly blessed. If you would like to send a prayer request, you may visit our website and click on the link prayer request or you may send it directly to our church's email at Mueller Refuge Tabernacle at gmail.com. Let us continue to pray for all those who are on our prayer and sick list, all those throughout the world and our country who have been stricken by COVID-19. And let us continue to pray for God's covering and healing during this difficult time. As we close our announcements on this morning, we would like to say again, happy anniversary to our pastor and first lady who celebrated their 46th wedding anniversary on this week. 
Again, happy anniversary, Pastor and First Lady Smith. Let us now bring our hearts and minds ready to hear God's Rima word brought forth through his manservant, our assistant pastor of Beulah Refuge Tabernacle, Elder Kelsey Mack, following this morning's sermonic solo. God bless you and have a great morning. I want you either ask or think. He's just that kind of God. Amen. We thank God, hallelujah, for his goodness and his mercy, his love and his kindness that he's shown towards us each and every day. He is an amazing God. Hallelujah. He's an able God. Hallelujah. Come on, worship him in your home. God is able. You know the song. Sing it. Hallelujah. Exceedingly, abundantly, above all, you could ask for me, according to the power that worketh in you. You, God is able to do just what He said He would do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause He won't give up on you. He's able. Oh, he is able. Oh, he is able. Yes, he is. God is able. God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. He's able. Come on, clap your hands. Yeah, hallelujah. Oh, he is able. He is able. Yes, he is. He is able. God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, because he won't give up on you. He's able. Come on, clap your hands if you know you serve that able God. Daddy, he is able. He's able, yes he is, oh, 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 he's able, oh, Oh, 
out in a praise. Amen. He has truly been good to us. We give, we reverence our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We give double honor to our beloved Pastor Bishop David Alfred Smith and to all the elders and our Shepherd Mother Smith and all the praise team. Amen. Thank God for the, the wonderful songs that have gone up in the name of the Lord. It's not my intention to stand before you long or to be before you long. Look with us um, briefly. Matthew, the ninth chapter and the 19th verse. Matthew 9 and the 19th verse. Amen. We thank God for all the wonderful word that has been preached over the years. And the wonderful messages, and one of them that constantly comes to my mind is that Pastor preached these other days, and that was a long time ago. But that message is so much true, has so much relevance for today. These are the days, and the scripture was, "Thus you know also that in the last days perilous times shall come." Amen. But we're living in perilous times. But thank God that we have an answer. Amen. And we have hope in this life. Amen. Thank God. Um, Matthew 9, 19. And Jesus arose and followed him. And so did his disciples. And behold, a woman which was diseased with an issue of blood 12 years came behind him and touched the hem of his garment. For she said within herself, if I may but touch his garment, I shall be whole. But Jesus turned him about. And when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith has made thee whole. And the woman was made whole from that hour. I would like to leave a thought with you on this morning. If I can get to Jesus, you ought to tell your neighbor, you can. Oh, yes. If I can get to Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Amen. And my subtopic, we can. We can. Um, these two stories are somewhat linked together because Jesus is on a mission going to Jairus' house, who was a ruler of the synagogue, who Jairus had approached Jesus to come and heal his dying daughter. 
Um, yes. But I'm so glad that in this story, it gives us an example that even though Jesus is on a mission to heal somebody else, surely we can still get our healing too. And here is the story um, as Jesus comes into the narrow streets on his way to Jairus' house whose daughter is dying. There was a woman, the Bible doesn't give her name, but it said there was a woman who had an issue of blood who was, she was hemorrhaging, uncontrollable. And somewhere she heard about what Jesus can do. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm here to let you know that if anyone else can save you and deliver you, it's Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. He is our hope. He's our joy. And he is our way maker. And he is our heart fixer and our mind regulator. Oh, yes. There is something special about Jesus. And amen to those that, amen, know the word that he is God. And he's God all by himself. And here it is that this woman who was broken by this condition, but she had heard that if I can, if I can get to Jesus, if I can touch the hem of his garment, I'll be made whole. Thank you, Jesus. But during this journey, Jesus and his disciples and Jairus, the ruler, um, they wasn't aware that somebody else had stood in need of Jesus. And this woman thronged by the crowd, um, by the entourage of the disciples around Jesus and by, amen, others trying to reach Jesus, amen. And she says, if I can touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. Isn't that something? She positioned herself to get to Jesus for her healing. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. She positioned herself. She pressed her way through the crowd to grab the tassel of the garment. A grab, amen, amen, the borders of Jesus' garment. Amen. It's so miraculous because with all those folks in the crowd pressing to get to Jesus, this woman, she touches his hymn and it said the virtue, oh yes, the virtue, the healing powers, amen, went out of Jesus into her body. I wish I had a praying church, my God. Thank you, Jesus. And amen. And heal her immediately. No conversation from this woman to Jesus. But the Bible says she said within herself, that's an inward prayer. My, it works too because God, amen, is an omnipotent God. Amen. He knows everything. There's no thought can be withheld from him. Amen. Amen. He is. Amen, amen, the God, amen, that delivers, amen, in spite of any circumstances. It don't matter about what disease it is, all it is about that Jesus has the virtue to heal. I wish I had a praying church, amen. So her driving force, this woman driving forth beneath her actions had been her faith in Jesus' power. That's right. That's what drove her <clears throat> because she had spent all her living going to physicians and got no better. My God. Sometimes, amen, your deliverance, amen, amen, it's not through the medical field. It's not through the medical, amen, avenue, but amen, if you can get to Jesus, you can surely be healed. I wish I had a praying church. 
Amen. Amen. And so, amen, she had violated the Mosaic law. An open running sore made her a person unclean. Oh, yes. Her condition, amen, in the Mosaic law, amen, she was supposed to stay away from folks, amen, because of her hemorrhaging, because of her unclean condition, amen. Anyone or anything that had that the person touched became unclean. Oh, yes. Leviticus 15, 2 through the 15 verse and 19 through the 30 verse. Amen. The book of Levit Leviticus. Amen. But when she, Jesus, amen, she got the healing. Amen. It didn't affect Jesus' body at all. Oh, yes. Amen. She had contacted few persons, including her family members, attended no, amen, festivals and celebrations, and not even invited to someone's home uh, because she had a disease. But I'm here to let you know that Jesus can restore faith. He can restore your health. Amen. This condition, she was restored back to her family and her friends. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. She could go among her Jewish brothers and her Jewish family. Amen. Her, gen her Gentile family. Amen. She could return. Amen. Amen. Because she was now clean. Oh, yes. If, amen, if I can get to Jesus, and I'm so glad that he is our high priest and he can be touched by the feelings of our infirmities. Oh yes, he knows how you feel. Oh yes, you got you have some good days and you have some bad days. Amen, but it doesn't change who Jesus is and what he can do. Amen. So the story Amen <clears throat> goes forward. Amen. After she had squeezed through the crowd and got to Jesus. Amen and touched him. Her blood issue staunched. It dried up immediately. My God, I praise you. Because she had faith that if I can touch him, I didn't have to ask him, but just touch him. Oh, yes. Amen. And here, Jesus, amen, who is, amen, the ultimate healer of all conditions. Oh, yes. COVID-19 is running rampant through the land, but I can tell you one thing, I know for sure, if you can get to Jesus, he can heal you. I know that's right. I wish I had a praying church. Oh, yes. Amen. Nothing too hard for our God. Nothing. There is nothing impossible with him to perform. Oh, yes. Amen. And so he moves on and he says, a strange thing with all those surrounding him, amen, and reaching for him. He says, Jesus said, who touched me? My God, I praise you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, it's the virtue, the healing powers, amen, left his body into her body, and she got what she need. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Amen. I think he deserves some praise. Amen. Amen, amen, he deserves, amen, a praise. I think we owe him a praise break right about now for the greatness, amen, that he has displayed in time past. Oh, yes, because he is, amen, he was not only a past, amen's deliverer, he is a future deliverer. Isn't that wonderful? Huh? Amen, and he is now a present help in the time of trouble. Amen. The psalmist said, when my soul is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. I wish I had a praying church. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. She got her victory. Oh, yes. Because she has said within herself. Oh, yes. Amen. Here is another story. Oh, yes. Amen. That when Jesus is now on his way to Jairus, amen, house. And someone brings the news, amen, don't trouble the master anymore for 
Amen. She is dead. Oh, yes. <clears throat> she that had lay dying has died. But Jesus, hearing the conversation, said, Amen. Be not afraid. Only believe. I'm so glad. Amen. That, amen, we serve, amen, a Savior. Amen. A Savior who has saved us. Amen. From our sins. Amen. Has brought us in right standing with God. Isn't that wonderful to know? Amen. That Jesus is the Savior. Oh, yes. And so here he arrives at Jerry's house. Uh huh. He arrives there and hears weeping and wailing going on. And Jesus arrives and says something strange. Amen. Remember when Jesus says something, amen, you can stake your life on it. Uh, amen. You can, amen, amen, ease your troubled heart and your troubled mind. Uh, and here Jesus said to those that were, amen, hired professionals to wail and to mourn at, at the wakes, amen, funeral, Amen. Prior to the funeral, the wake. Amen. And Jesus said, Amen. The daughter is not dead. She's just sleeping. Uh, when Jesus says something, Amen. If it isn't that right, then it's going to change by his authority, by his word. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, amen. And they laughed him to scorn. Amen. At what he said. Uh, amen. Jesus said, she that daughter is sleeping. Amen. I know that right. And so Jesus throw the doubters out. Oh, yes. Amen. Throw the doubters out and brought in the mother and father. Amen. Amen. Touches the, the young Dasmo and said, arise. And whatever Jesus says, it's got to happen. And the young daughter arise and she began to walk. She that had lay a dying died. But when Jesus shows up, amen, he is the death remover. Uh, oh, yes, David said, amen, I shall live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. Uh, oh, yes, amen, I'm so glad, uh, amen, that we can get to Jesus, uh, amen, for our circumstances. Uh, we can get to Jesus, uh, amen, for our desire and our need. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, we can get to Jesus. Oh, yes. Amen. Trust in the Lord forever. For in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. Oh, yes. He got all that we need. He said, Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusts in thee. Oh, yes. Declaring the end from the beginning. And from ancient time, things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasures. You want to give God some praise. Oh, yes. Amen. We can trust in God. Oh, yes. They that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. Uh, oh, yes, I'm glad I'm in his hand. Uh, oh, yes, and whosoever is in his hand, uh, no man can pluck them out. You ought to give God some praise up in here today. Oh, yes, he has given us clear promises. Uh, oh, yes, he said, even to your old age, I am he. Uh, even to your gray hairs, he said, I will carry you. Oh, yes, I have made and I will bear, even I will carry and will deliver you. Oh, yes. Amen. If you can get to Jesus, it's going to be all right. Amen. Because he is, amen, an awesome God. And, and because he is, he said, he said, call upon me in the day of trouble and I will answer you. 
Oh, yes. And I will show you great and mighty things to come. Uh, amen. You ought to tell your neighbor his word is still good. Uh, oh, yes. Oh, yes, it is. Uh, oh, yes. Tell your neighbor, consider it done. Uh, tell your I will bring health and cure. Uh, I will cure them and reveal unto them the abundance of peace and joy. Uh, and truth. Uh, oh, yes, I'm so glad that his promises, oh, yes, are uh, yes and amen. Uh, oh, yes, I'm so glad, uh, amen, that his word has never failed and never will fail. Uh, oh, yes, stay right there, amen, in the presence of God, uh, because in his presence is fullness of joy. Uh, and at his right hand, there's pleasures evermore. Uh, Give him a big shout out. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, oh, yes. You can get to Jesus. Uh, oh, yes. Wherever you at, he can be touched. Uh, he can be reached. Uh, oh, yes. Even in the night hours, midnight hours, he can be reached. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, because he's the God that slumbers not, neither does he sleep. Come on, give God some praise. Uh, Oh yes, amen. We can, we can touch him. Oh yes, oh yes. Nothing we can tell God about. Oh yes, even us. He always have known us. He always have known the amen before COVID nineteen had approached the nations and the earth. God had already been aware of it. That's why he put in place his word. Amen. That all diseases, he's able to heal every disease, every sickness. Oh, yes. Amen. He's able to forgive of all iniquities because he knew we would have shortcomings. Amen. Before we knew ourselves. He told Jeremiah, I knew you before you, amen, you, amen, your father and mother, oh, yes, got together, and you, amen, was impregnated, oh, yes, amen, the seed placed into, amen, your mother. Uh, I knew you, Jeremiah, amen, the scripture said, before he was formed in the belly of his womb, I knew you. Isn't that a good thing, amen, that nothing can catch God unaware. Uh, amen. He's tell the believers, draw nigh to me and I'll draw nigh to you. Yes. Uh, he said, cast all your cares upon you. Amen. Because he cares for you. Amen. He cares for you. Uh, oh, uh, he's a loving God. He's a caring God. Uh, Oh, yes, and I'm so glad that he's still at work among us. Amen. He is the greatest comforter. I know he's the father of all mercies, and he's the God of all comforts in all trials, in all tribulation. He's able to comfort. He's able to encourage. He's able to take you through. Amen. Listen to his voice. Learn his voice. Amen. Because he is God all by himself. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm so glad I consider it done already. Amen. I considered the victory already. Uh, somebody said, thanks be unto God, which always causes us to triumph in Christ Jesus. Uh, the victory is already yours. Uh, amen. You might not feel it, and you might not visibly behold it yet, but because God has promised, amen, sent us promises that are still good. Uh, some blessings are still out there, uh, amen, but you're going to get them, uh, amen, sooner or later. Give God some praise. Uh, oh, yes, uh, amen. I'm so glad that faith is a workable thing. Faith in God. Have faith in God. Uh, he says, through faith, Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed and was delivered of a child, amen, 
It was a man child when she was past her age to bear children. Uh, oh, yes, she had a promise. Uh, oh, yes, amen, that God fulfilled in her old age and past her childbearing stage and a husband, amen, whose body wasn't working anymore. Uh, amen. Oh, yes. Uh, amen. He was able to produce the seed and the stammer. Amen. To get with Sarah. Amen. And it was God. It was all God. Uh, amen. When he had done this miracle, uh, when he had brought about these desires, amen, you will confess it was God. Uh, all by himself. Uh, oh, yes. Keep us in prayer. God bless you and be encouraged. Be strengthened. Be not afraid of nothing. Amen. Be not afraid of any sickness or disease. Amen. Or the need in your life. Amen. God bless you. Keep me my family in prayers. Amen. Thank God. God bless you, Elder Mac, with a dynamic word. If I could just get to Jesus, I tell you, if you can get to him, the problem is going to be resolved. There is nothing too hard for God. Amen. The element said there's something special about Jesus, something special about being able to get into the presence of God. Amen. You can't allow your problems and your situation to isolate you in a corner. Amen. And tell you, my God, there's no need to move from where you are. But you got to have the mind like the late mother Dolores Jones would say, you got to be able to press beyond the press. And if you can press into the presence of God, that woman wouldn't say, if I, if I can just get a, a bigger hold of him, like, like uh, Jacob had a hold to God, by God. She said, if I can just touch his garment, my God, I'm going to be made whole. The confidence in knowing, my God, despite the situation, this woman had a terrible situation, but God was greater than her terrible situation. And we bless, thank you, Elamek, again, for that dynamic word. If I can just get to it. I know it's going to be all right. If I can just get where he is, praise the name of the Lord. If I can just get in the company of Jesus. That's that's what um uh, Mary had, that man said that Mary had, then in the 10th chapter of Luke, by God, Martha was all busy around the house doing stuff, cooking and getting folks ready to eat. But Mary, the Bible said, was sitting at the feet of Jesus, looking right in his mouth, my God. And Jesus said she desired the good part and that shall not be taken away from her. God bless you. We certainly bless the Lord, and we thank God for you. I want you to know that the prayer line is open. We'll be putting up the prayer line number shortly in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And get ready. some of you already may, may already know it. I'll be here for a while after the broadcast go off, amen, to uh, hear your prayer request, amen, and pray with you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We certainly bless the Lord, and we do praise God for all of his divine care and his mercy. We want you all to be mindful to be in prayer for uh, Lady Janice uh, Mitchell, uh, First Lady of Open Door uh, Church Ministries of Columbia, the uh, wife of uh, the late uh, Bishop Barry Mitchell, who passed on this uh, weekend and uh, this week. We want you to keep uh, uh, Lady Mitchell in your prayers and the saints of uh, Open Door ministries and uh, all the ministry of brethren there who was standing in support uh, for uh, Lady Mitchell and the saints. Let's keep them in your prayers and the Lord will keep them covered and give them strength to go through this time, uh, this ordeal, if you will, in the passing of this great man of God. We all love Bishop Mitchell, amen, a, a wonderful preacher, uh, love the praise of the Lord, and my God, who could play that guitar? like Bishop Mitchell, and we all enjoyed him and the ministry that God gave him to preach. And as we've been on him for many, many years, we certainly thank God for uh, the grace of God, the covering of God upon um, uh, Lady Mitchell and, and the family and the church family as they go through this time of transition in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I'm, I think his home going service is going to be Tuesday. I'm not sure of the time, but anyway, just keep them in your prayers as the Lord will cover them in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, we want you to be mindful 
uh, amen, of our upcoming uh, Wednesday night Bible study. I will be uh, on the air again for Bible study uh, uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. And uh, we bless the Lord. I will be continuing our study on the omnis of God. We've dealt with the omnipresence of God, uh, his uh, omniscience, his all knowing. Uh, and uh, and uh, we dealt. We are going to be dealing with on this Wednesday night the omnipotence of God, the all powerfulness of God, and then we will have one aspect of it remaining, and that is the omnibenevolence of God, the all goodness of God, Amen. But we will be dealing this Wednesday night with the omnipotence of God, the all powerfulness of God, Amen. So beautifully demonstrated by our Elder Mac in his message today. If I can just get to him, I know he's got power to deliver me. Amen. And he does. And we certainly bless the Lord. Again, God bless you. Uh, uh, note that the uh, prayer line numbers are, are going across the screen. And we'll be here uh, for a while after the broadcast go up. And if you, need, you have a prayer uh, a need, uh, give a call and they'll give it to me. And we'll I'll talk, speak with you. And we'll have prayer together in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. God bless you. We bless the Lord and we do pray God. Mother Smith sends her regards to all of you and our prayers for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And know that uh, we, I love you, both Mother Smith and I. I love you very dearly. And if anybody tell you like I told you, that, and we don't, take them by the hand and say, let's go see Bishop and Mother Smith. I guarantee you they're going to turn your hand loose. God bless you. Stay together, stay before the Lord, stay out the danger, stay out the weather, stay out the COVID-19 situation, stay, uh, did, uh, um, uh, do the uh, uh, social distancing, yeah. Yeah. amen, wear your mask like you should, praise the name of the Lord, and I know God i going to see us through this turmoil. God bless you, look to see you on, in, on Wednesday night Bible study in Jesus' name. God bless you. Yeah, man.